All right, good morning, everyone. Those are eggs. <laughs> Look at my little baby gooses. All those eggs are bad because one of my incubators took a complete and total crap. So anyways, let's talk about incubators for a minute because I'm really tired of incubators. I have this one. I've had this one forever. It is a still air. That's number two of five. I had five incubators at one time because we're hatching out, you know, several hundred, maybe a thousand chicks every season. Um, this one has lasted me forever. I don't even know what brand it is. No idea. But it's simple. It's still air. It works well. I've had it forever. But to lose that on a two-year-old incubator really hurts my feelings. So I went and I bought one of these from OG Reptiles. It was fairly inexpensive. It's a little mini stat. I plug my light into it. I am currently in process of building an incubator. My temperature is steadily coming up. It was 78 in this box over here. It is steadily coming up, or it was 71, and now it's 78. Um, anyways, I have an old deep freezer. This is just one of them little cube freezers. That's a $15 fan from Dollar General. That is an old heat lamp, you know, them little brooder lamps with a 200 watt bulb in it. This is the piece that checks the temperature. You just lay that in there. The fan is to keep my incubator from getting cold pockets and um, make sure I got good airflow. There, there, there will be no cold or hot spots in this incubator and I'm hoping to be able to load up several hundred eggs at a time and just do them on a about a three-day rotation for hatches because I'm doing geese and chickens this year again and my geese are laying like crazy so in a mad dash to rig something up I was going to chuck this deep freezer because I don't need it and it was falling apart on the bottom but then I had the bright idea I can just reuse it so this is this is a temporary fix I missed something there's something I was going to tell y'all anyways this thing here you can set your temperatures where you want it I want no more than like a one degree fluctuation so we got that and I have it set at 99 it's supposed to be 99.5 99.5 and I think it'll it'll fluctuate one degree from that which is not, it's not terrible. I can go with that and not lose a ton of eggs. But this hopefully will work the way that I want it to. I'm gonna close it up. I gotta go get some insulation to insulate the metal here because that piece came out and disappeared. But I'm gonna replace it and fix it. I'm gonna close it up and see if this thing can get up to temperature and then hopefully I'll get to load some eggs in this evening. See, I mean, this thing is, this, this is rough. This thing's old, but it was gifted by a friend and we don't complain when we're gifted things. So, there's some little goose babies for attacks. Hi babies. These guys are three days old. Super sweet babies. 